All right, I'm live. Welcome to the people in the recording. Now let's announce uh, that I am live on Twitter and elsewhere. Delete this. Okay, that is that tweet sent. Uh, announce it in the Telegram group. Some sparkle query. Okay. Uh, what I do not have up is a Twitch dashboard, which would tell me how many people are watching. Um, no one's watching if I read this correctly. Okay. Uh, let me restore the windows to where they should all be. Um, yeah, so I guess right now I'm still mainly talking to the recording, at least until I see some people pop up in chat or something. Um, speaking of chat, one new thing I'm trying today, inspired by uh, an idea Leah had, is to have an etherpad where people can write questions even if they don't have a Twitch account to join the stream or where we can exchange links and notes and all kinds of stuff which would otherwise go into the Twitch chat and there be lost eventually. And that etherpad is, I'll just copy the URL in here, etherpad.wikimedia.org slash p slash sparkle en is where people can exchange uh, can post questions they have even if they don't have an account to join the Twitch chat or where we can share links and other useful stuff and take notes and by now I apparently have five viewers so I guess we are probably going now more or less um, yeah I just don't know um, what to do. I didn't really plan anything, so either I can try to do the same thing as last time, which is work with a random queries people sent me or my own ideas, or we can try to have more like an introduction session to Sparkle. I'm not sure if that works or if people want to more like drop in, drop out at any time, then that would not work so well. Um, Can I think of any query I would like to write right now? There's been a lot of coronavirus queries going around and most of them not by me because I don't know, I'm just kind of skeptical of doing that via Wikidata. Um, and a lot of other people are also doing amazing stuff there, I'm sure, and I don't know anything about it. So if I try to do something corona related now, that's probably not just not going to be anything particularly great. Uh, any other subject? Um, do we have any live streams on Wikidata? Let's check for that. So that would be anything where the item is an instance of a live stream. Is, is there an item for a live stream? There's an item for live streaming. A live stream is a film, online streamer, streaming channel. That's a scientific article. Live streaming crime. Not sure if I want to look into that. World news. More scientific articles. Hmm. Are there any instances of live stream live streaming? I wouldn't expect that, but maybe there are. There are four of them. Okay, let's check what they are with the label service using control for auto completion there. We have Saima Seal Live, we have Street Fight Radio, we have Christchurch of... No... 
What's this one? It's live streaming with Saima, Ringed, Seal, in Finland pr produced. I see. This is a <laughs> very masculine live stream, I guess. It was produced. Uh, I'm just going to assume that's supposed to be produced. Let's just fix that. So this is right now a Wikidata editing stream. We have Street Fight Radio, that's a podcast and a live streaming. And we have Wolverine Live, which is... Oh, as in Wolverine, not the uh, the comic character I see. Um, not sure if I'm convinced about that item. So it looks like some people are using this live streaming item as an item for a live stream, I guess. Um, and according to the subclass of statements, that works, I think. I would say an individual live stream or a pe periodic live stream, like a charity event that happens every year or something, would be a subclass of a live broadcast and a data stream and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a bit mixed up, I feel like. A broadcast, we can also try that. Broadcast. That's a lot of things, but not really... We have broadcasting, again, just like live streaming, I guess. Do we have any instances of broadcasting? We have some, not sure if those are correct. Like This is a TV or radio channel, a French one, by the looks of it. Um, no, a Spanish one, okay. Yeah, a TV channel and an instance of broadcasting. I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Um, okay, so I don't think there's a lot of... Is there anything related to Twitch that we could find here? Um, a Twitch instance of Twitch stream or something doesn't look like it. Oh, no, Twitch plays Pokemon. Yeah, sure. Uh, what? It, how is that... Uh, classify that thing. Twitch plays Pokemon as an instance of a viral video. No. Surely Twitch isn't a uh, Twitch plays Pokemon isn't a video. It's a stream. Um, people having a Twitch ID. We can try that. Do we have Twitch IDs? Uh, not here, at least. Um, item Twitch. Twitch game ID and Twitch channel ID. Okay, sure. So, channel. So let's try that. Items with a Twitch channel. 335. I can talk. 335 of them. Nintendo of America, Ninja, Game Awards, Liska, Nixion, Social Blade, Destiny, H Bomber Guy, GOG. That's cool. Games, I think. That is not correct. Um, yeah, okay, so there's a lot of Twitch usernames. What? What? No. No. I want to see a reference on that statement that Donald Trump has a Twitch account. I don't believe that. I refuse. Um, the top most popular song titles. Um, I mean, I can try. Um, Twitch first. I want to see... If this item has a reference, it does not. Is this... what? What is this channel? It's verified. Does he seriously stream on Twitch? Uh, or the White House does, I guess. Really? Jesus Christ. Okay, I guess... Close that tab, and this one was just a mistake because the ID should not be a full um, URL. But is this uh, slash TOD? Is that a um, close? Thank you. I'm proud to be blah blah blah. blah. No, 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 no. Mute that. Um, full time streamer, YouTube, Facebook, Yuan Merlo in the a Facebook ID, so that must be the right name, so I'll just fix this. So this is publishing 
this query is, I'll just drop that in the etherpad, um, Twitch uh, items with Twitch channels. Um, speaking of which, uh, before we continue to the uh, to the question from Twitch Mirbos, um, just a quick mention that uh, Lea had this great idea of opening an etherpad for the streams so that even people who do not have a Twitch account can chat in the etherpad and we can also collect links and useful stuff there so that is uh, should be on the screen the URL but if it's too small to be readable or something that's etherpad.wikimedia.org slash p slash sparkle en all uppercase so um, I can just copy that here quickly so that is where I'm going to be pasting links to queries and you can post questions there as well uh, and we will see if that works out so let's see most popular song titles how do we define those so um, either pad basically a text document where everyone can write at the same time without an account or anything it's probably horrifically unsafe against spammers but it seems to work in practice somehow and just anyone can edit it and whatever you write there is basically public forever there's a history so even if you delete an information it's still there so don't put your passwords there or anything and if you do then you have to change them uh, that's an etherpad real quick um, so I'm thinking something like I'll just leave that at the top here select um, song um, and then count of no wait we would have to group by title count song this way around as count and if the song is an instance of song it might work it might not work and then title I definitely want to use title and not the label I think because label is going to be terrible for performance um, and this uh, order by desk count limit 50 and let's also say the count must be greater than a thousand just random limit to have to sort less items maybe that helps oh there's a bad aggregate because I need to add group by title there we go um, zero results yeah okay because I assume most items are not going to be instance of song let's just pick a random song um, it's not loading for some reason that's the album that's the song so this for example is instance of music comp composition instance of song as well okay thousand seems excessive I mean we can try uh, 10 okay three home celebration circles black diamond bohemian rhapsody we have two see that's I don't believe that um, so if we search for anything where a song has the title Bohemian Rhapsody in English we find how many things six of them and those are probably at least one film we find Bohemian Rhapsody the Queen's song we find don't stop me now I see I assume that must be just vandalism uh, uh, yeah, that's vandalism. Thank you. Undo. I should have put an edit summary. No, too late. Uh, and did that user do anything else as well? Or that IP address? They did not. Okay. So we have five items with that title. There's an episode of that 70s show, so that's actually not a song. There's the film. There's a vocal track. Okay, that's different. And there's a music video. Okay. See, what I'm expecting is that there will be a lot of things that are instance of single and not instance of song, because Wikipedia, at least English Wikipedia, has this annoying habit of grouping a composition and 
a dozen singles all in the same one article and then they all have their own info boxes in their sections and then bots try to import that into Wikidata and it's just a huge mess that no one can make any sense of. Um, for instance, um, no, I don't know any particular example. But basically I'm assuming that relying on instance of is a terrible idea. And maybe Bohemian Rhapsody was a bad example. Um, if we just go with love, I don't know, and we get not just the label of the song, but also the description, then we can see how many things are being described as song-like things. So this is a song. This is a single. This is an EP. This is a 2003 edition of what? I don't know. This is an album, scientific articles, and animated short film. So here we have a song. That's an instance of song. That's fine. It's part of two things labeled Robin Hood. I assume that's, I don't know, the film and the stage musical adapted from it, probably, or something like that. We have the 2017 single, that's an instance of single, not of song, but I assume there's going to be an associated song as well, we just don't have an item for it, because it's a mess. Then there's Löwe, I assume, uh, which is an extended play, but we might want to count that as well. Um, and then there's 2003 edition of... of what? Does it say edition of? No. Oh no, it does. Okay. Of novel by Tony Morrison. Of a novel by Tony Morrison. Ta da. There we go. Um, so if we want to count those titles, I think we would want to at least include not just instances of song, but also. Song, single, uh, anything else, an EP, I'm not sure, no, an extended play is, that's more like an album, isn't it? I don't know. Um... Musical recording, short and longer than a single, but shorter than a full album. Yeah, okay, I think an EP usually has more than one song on it, so let's maybe not include that, but at least song and single, and then say it must be an instance of this class, and limit the count to, I don't know, at least two. And see if that still works without a timeout, and there's a lot of chat going on, wow. Um, yeah, a lot of songs are not going to have a title statement as well, yeah, but there's just uh, not much I can do about it, because I'm pretty sure if I go via the label, it's going to time out. Um, if some people are trying to split songs up, that's great. Um, subclass off could work. It's just going to be, again, very slow, but we can try. So now we have 12 with... <laughs> Let it go! Oh, that's yeah, that's nice. We also have Thank You Next. So, Let It Go, that might actually be the song with like 10 versions that al someone already split up. I don't know. Um, let's copy this and say the title has to be Let It Go, all uppercase, and don't group by anything, and select the songs and see what they are. Just a few of them. Yeah, that's the original song by Pete Willis. I think that's not the Disney one. And there's a single by Devlin, 2011. I think that's also before Frozen. And there's a 2012 single, 2007 single. No, this might actually be all different songs. Let it go, let it go. There's the Frozen song. There's another single, 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 single. No, I think these are all distinct works. So I think that's at least 12 songs with the title Let It Go. Um, let's check this hold on disambiguation. There's albums, there's songs, a lot of them. Jesus. Okay. 
let's search for item title hold on in English. How many of those do we have? One. Okay. It's the chord over street song. And I assume this one random example, hold on. No, hold on a little longer, that's a bad example. 50 cent song. Fine. Uh, Wikidata item. Instance of song. Doesn't have a title. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, we might have to use the labels. But if I just switch out this for RDFS label and don't filter for language or anything, then I feel like it's going to time out already or come close, even without bringing any subclasses into it. No, 10 seconds, 11 seconds, okay. We have Angel in English and Spanish and blah, blah, blah. Tonight, without you. Heaven, beautiful, forever. Home, believe. There's hold on down there. Okay, so that's working more or less. So to get just the um, the things without the le copies for the same thing in different languages, let's wrap that. Uh, Stir title. Oops. Okay, for some reason I can't get that back via undo. String of title as title and maximum of count as count with all of this as results where include results order by desk count again. Um, fix the indentation of all of those, and by holding down Alt we can do rectangle editing like this. Limit this to maybe a hundred, and then this can be a filter of at least ten. Uh, this should work, yes. No, bad aggregate. Um, group by ti uh, title underscore. Does that work? No. No, wait, I can do this, right? Bind. There we go. Now it's not a bad aggregate anymore. Um, okay, there are some people not logged into Twitch enjoying the show. Hello, welcome. I see you in the etherpad. Okay, so now we have runaway. Oops, oh, I need to sort by the right count which is now the one with underscore. That was in the wrong order. I hope it's large enough for everyone to read, by the way. I could zoom in more, then we just see less at the same time. Um, so Angel is the top one, and then we have Tonight, Without You, Heaven, Home, Forever, Beautiful, Crazy, Believe, You, Stay, Shine, Alive, Hold On, Breathe, Goodbye, Fire, Why, Run Away, Paradise, Friends, Save Me, and Call Me. And that's uh, still just restricted to song and single. And if we try instead to say something like... Um, must be instance of... See, I'm not sure about musical composition. I think someone said musical composition in the chat, but I'm not sure if a single is an ins a subclass of a musical composition. I don't think it should be, because it's more like a manifestation of a song, which then is the musical composition, right? It's a subclass of a release, which is a subclass of publication musical work. Yes, but I don't think... So I think with musical composition we would not catch the singles, but with musical work we would, because I assume that musical composition is going to be a subclass of musical work. Right, so that should catch all of those. Uh, it's being a little bit slow. I should zoom in more, okay. So Wikidata is already at 200%, I'm going to hope 200% is fine, but zoom in the query service from 150 to 200%, and hopefully that's better. And the musical composition is a 
create is a subclass of musical work. Okay, yes. Um, not fine with this instance of, but I'm not going to touch that now. Uh, so musical work should catch all of those things, but it will almost certainly also be a lot slower. So let's see. And also it might be slightly incorrect because I feel like we're now going to collect music videos as well in cases where they have separate items. On the other hand, that's probably not a big deal. Do we even have music videos and are they a subclass of musical work? Um, yeah, it is, but yeah, I, I'm not just not sure how many instances of music video we have that we need to worry about. Okay, 32 seconds. That's not too bad. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Greatest hits. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, right, we're now probably including albums as well, right? And not just songs and singles. Uh, there's live, there's... What language is that? Symphony? That's not the English spelling, is it? But it's also not really the German spelling, it's... Is that the French spelling? But NR dot? What is that? I'm curious. Can I search for that? Also, And also, which fourth symphony? The Beethoven one is the fifth one. Which fourth symphony is so... symphony is so famous? Oh, of course! No, we're just getting a bunch of symphonies now. Because they're also musical works. We're getting all compositions now. Um... Okay. Yeah, so that's a bit difficult. I guess the first real title I would um, describe here is Home. I feel like Gold is going to be more another one that's more like album collection titles. And we have the collection, then there's Forever, which we already had earlier, and Angel. So that's definitely the popular ones. Okay, yeah, it might be Dutch, the whole symphony uh, number, and then this is the English one, I guess. Um, and then that is Dutch for violin concert, I assume. Anthology, string quartet number two, the ultimate collection. That's German. And yeah, that's not really what we had in mind. Is there any thing else that captures songs and um, singles, musical work, vocal music, I guess, but is a single a subclass of vocal music? Um, no, it's not. It's only a subclass of release. So I feel like I want to come back to this um, up here, but maybe add subclasses here just in case they exist. And then I feel like we're closer to the original again, which was more about songs than any composition. Uh, Angel, Tonight, Without You, I don't remember. I mean, we can change this star to a plus, and then we get only results with um, um, with at least one subclass off, and there's definitely some of them, okay. Which means, yeah, the, that definitely makes a difference, so we should include it, and then we get Angel, Tonight, Without You, Heaven, Home, Forever, Beautiful, and Crazy, and more. So I think I would call this, at the moment, the query for the most common song titles, and eventually maybe Wikidata will be cleaned up and all those singles and songs will be separated and then we can drop the single from the query. But right now I think it's necessary, I mean we can try to remove it, and I think the numbers will be much smaller. Like we had 66 and now we have 31. Yeah, It's mostly the same titles, but I think with the single the result is at the moment better. So I will shorten that URL because apparently people in the Etherpad prefer short URLs. Um, so this is, and I can remove the Etherpad itself from the link for the short URL. This is um, 
most common song titles. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Was there anything else? Any other ideas in chat? I could have checked the IP subnet for that vandalism IP address. Okay. Um, Mirbos mentioned that Bernie was the first one on Twitch. Uh, the first politician or presidential candidate or something, I guess. Um, do we have that data? Bernie Sanders. Do we have a qualifier there when the Twitch ch channel was created or something? That might be interesting. What? Did he publish music or is it another Bernie Sanders? Uh, anyways, blah, blah, pff, Twitch. No, no. No reference, no qualifiers, no nothing, okay. Um, okay, so we can't do anything with that. I'm just curious about this. Um, contemporary folk music, yeah, that's the same Bernie Sanders, the link is purple, in 1987, okay. He was already a politician in 1987, right? Yeah, politician, okay. Sounds good. Um, I wonder how many other presidential candidates have put out albums. Let's try that. Um, albums by US presidential candidates. So first off, what is a US presidential candidate? We have Bernie Sanders. Is that a position held or something? It's given name, family name, blah, 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 blah. occupation. It's not an occupation, at least not for Bernie Sanders. Field of work is deprecated. Okay. Mm. Employer, position held, representative, senator, senator, spectator, mayor. Res representative is not, um, no, that's just elected representative in the, wait, that's the Congress, right? Is that the thing? Yeah, Congress, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I just thought in my head, why can't they just call them congressmen? And then uh, the ans question answered itself. Uh, yeah. uh, they're called representatives, and now I know. And there's no presidential candidate here. Um, there's awards, educated, member of political party, ethnic group, signature, handedness, notable works, website. I guess the different idea would be to go for Bernie Sanders presidential campaign, which I'm sure has a separate item, and then find all their presidential candidates as being the ones who have an item like this. Let's try that. So that would be presidential campaign. Is that a US specific item? Apparently not. Do we have US presidential campaign? We don't. Okay, fine. Then it's just a uh, presidential campaign off Bernie Sanders. I don't like the off qualifier, but I, it looks like that's how it's modeled. Endorsed by ContraPoints and no one else. It's not... Uh, we can do better. Um, and that's not a lot of statements. I'm worried. How many other presidential campaigns do we have? Earth Warren presidential campaign. We have that one. Also with the off qualifier, okay, so that looks like it might be... Oh wow, that has a lot of more information actually. Uh, so it looks like going through the presidential campaign items is going to work. So let's try that. Uh, campaign instance of presidential campaign of candidate. And the candidate should be an instance of human, just in case there's campaigns for fictional humans out there. Um, and there should be an album, instance of subclasses, I guess. Uh, is that music album or just album? It's just album. Um, with, is that creator? Performer. Performer. Bernie Sanders. There we go. Um, 
I'm sure we can add the label service. There aren't that many presidential candidates. That should go quickly. Oh, that would be candidate, candidate label, album, album label. And uh, we're going to get Bernie Sanders twice here because he's had at least two presidential campaigns. Um, right? We, s we sort by the candidates. We get Barack Obama. Oh. What? They're not all on this album, right? Huh? I don't quite see how this works. Um. Oh. I just wrote Bernie Sanders here instead of <laughs> candidates. Uh, yeah, small wonder. Okay, there we go. Now it takes a bit longer as well. Um, yeah. Uh, taking surprisingly long. There we go. 16 seconds and Bernie Sanders is the only result. Okay. I guess I will drop that here in the pad. Albums by US President. Potential candidates. No result besides Bernie Sanders. So, if we remove the requirement that it's an album and it can actually be any performer, does it get better? Oh. No. It's not really. Uh, so what are these remarks recorded by for the Hall of Presidents at Magic Kingdom Park? What is this Magic Kingdom Park? Is this like... And also, apparently, I guess we don't have um, a pr George W. Bush presidential campaign? Uh, no, we do, but it doesn't have the off item. It doesn't link to George W. Bush at all. Okay, small, small wonder it wasn't found. Also, there's a typo here. Was in Schaft's campaign. Uh, I guess I will add that here, but in general, um, looks like we can't rely on finding all the presidential candidates like this. George Walker Bush, this one. Uh, Magic Kingdom is is that a Disney thing? Okay. And the presidents record stuff for that apparently. Um, yeah, that's not really any more of in the direction what I was thinking of. Um, I guess they more usually write books instead of performing music albums. Um, but searching for books of them is going to be boring. Um, oh, there's a question in the Etherpad. Is it possible to find geographical areas that were once held by another country? Huh. That's going to be tricky, because they will often have a different item as well, but I can try with the example I know, which is... Uh, I, if I can type... I have no idea what that's called in English, but that's what it's called in German, I believe. Unless it's written with two S's now. Uh, it, it is. Or not? No, it's... Oh, uh, yeah, see, so this is the territory from, ni from 18 1871 until 1918. Um, then it was replaced by what I assume are three departments in France. And those have very low item IDs, so I assume they still exist. Um, part of Alsace-Moselle. Um, yeah, so... It replaces those other things. Contributing factor of World War One, uh, abolished 1918. So I guess we would find 
territories with a country and a replaced by statement where the replaced by belongs to another country. And that's going to be probably very many items, but we can try. Uh, so, and the class could be territory, administrative territory, or entity. It could be a lot of things, I feel like. It's tricky. Territorial entity. And is administrative territorial entity also a subclass of that? It is, yes. Okay, so I think we want instances of subclasses of territorial entity. Tori instance of subclass of this one. Um, country uh, P17 country one replaced by or f let's call that former country and this one former territory and replaced by new territory and the oops that should be a dot at the end and the new territory is also instance of subclasses of the same class uh, new country and we filter for new con former country being not equals to new country and we also do not want the former country to have been replaced by the new country is that replaced by yes it is and let's put a limit a thousand on there because i feel like there might be more results and i probably don't want more results than that um let's see if that finds anything. Um, yeah, a thousand results and probably more. So we have, for instance, some Russian or Chinese thing in the Yuan Empire. Um, which was replaced by another historical administrative division and this has as country okay and what was the country here? the country here was Yuan Empire yeah mm. Mm. difficult I feel like, okay, this has, what is Q142 as a country? Um, that is... That's France. Okay, so we have Lower Navarre, which is in France, and was replaced by the Kingdom of France. I feel like that's not the right order, right? Q142 is the current one, isn't it? The Fifth Republic, I believe? Um, so, yeah, historical countries. Uh, and so this was part of the Kingdom of Navarre, which, so I guess this must be the precursor to this Kingdom of France. Or not, no, this was created 1162 in this Kingdom of France here. was created 987, but survived until 1791, okay. Yeah, I feel like, okay, this approach is not going to work out, but uh, the person is writing something more in the etherpad. Things that used to belong to Sweden and now are, uh, now belong to another country. I guess we can try that. Um, because this approach is just, too fragile, I feel like, historically. So let's say it was in Sweden. And I forgot the WD. There we go. What's the constituency of the European Parliament? And why is it different than 
Um, then the country. Do I even want to know, or is this another terrible mess? So this constituency is in the 2019 parliament election, but was created in 1995. It belongs to the country Sweden. It's coexistive, coextensive with Sweden. Okay, so we have separate items for those, I guess. Anyways, so it used to belong to Sweden, and then it was replaced by a new territory, which is in a new country, which is not Sweden. And I'm pretty sure Sweden has not been replaced by anything, so we can remove this minus and see if that works. The alternative model, of course, would be that the same territory item has... I guess it would be a country statement with a qualifier end time for Sweden, and then another con country statement without the qualifier, or with a more recent start time or something, with a different country. And that would be another way to look for things that used to belong to Sweden and don't anymore, if it was modeled as one item instead of two. Uh, so we can try that out as well. And this is taking surprisingly long. Well, I assume this part here is pretty expensive. Mm. I guess this finds less results, and so it takes longer to le reach the limit of 1000, and that's why the query takes longer than the previous one. Um, time out. Damn it. Okay. Let's try the other one, I guess, where we say that it's P17 Sweden, but also PQ end time. That's P582, I believe. Sweden end time. And also P P17 uh, other new country with a start time that's 580 new start time and say that the new country is not Sweden and the new start time is greater than the Sweden end time and see if this works at all if there are a lot of country statements with qualifiers I wouldn't know if you have any example item that you can think of, that would also be very useful. And then we can see there how it's usually modeled. Um, query is still running. It's still running. Might time out as well. Oh, that's annoying. Mm, yeah, I think this part here doesn't work very well. I guess we can limit it to administrative... Administrative? I don't know. Territorial entities and maybe shave off some time with that. Maybe. I don't know. It's still going to be a lot. Uh... Let's see. Mm. I can also try it setting the limit to one just to see if it works at all or if I'm making some stupid mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, this is not going well. Uh, I don't really have any other ideas for how to do this, unfortunately. I think that's just a pretty vague or historically fuzzy question in general that I'm not even sure how to phrase and then how to do it performantly is another question again. Um, okay, let's try limit 1, if it finds anything at all. Um, yeah. 
I'm not sure what would be a better way to model that either. I guess get geo shapes of a bunch of historical countries and try to find their overlap and then also still having to deal with uh, which of these countries just followed or replaced the other. Okay, so we have a former territory which ceased being part of Sweden in 1653. There was a Polish city, I see, and is now... no. And then started belonging to the German Empire. Yeah, okay. It now belongs to Poland, but it used to belong to Nazi Germany, Weimar Republic, German Empire, Kingdom of Prussia, Brandenburg, Prussia, Sweden, and the Duchy of Pomerania before that. Jeez. And it's roughly here in the world. Oh yeah. Yeah, that would have been Prussia at the time. And yeah, Sweden also is uh, geographically close at least, and today it's of course in Poland. Uh, yeah, so there are some results, um, even surprising ones. There's one example in the pad, which is this item, which is, it's loading slowly, Orland Islands, an autonomous region of Finland now, and it's a demilitarized zone, and it's the first level Nuts, whatever that is. Uh, the official name is still in Swedish, and the short name it has its own flag, I see. Uh, the people there have a certain name. The language is Swedish, it has an anthem. Okay, so yeah, so that is country with qualifiers, is, is the model used here. So if I add uh, here a bind that as former territory it would be found right yes it is so the query is um, working at least for that case and some similar cases like that in principle it's just not at all efficient oh that's up there in oh no I thought it was Greenland or Iceland it's between Finland and Sweden I see uh, I mean, we can try it with a limit a bit higher than one, and without the bind. Uh, actually, what was this item as an instance of? It's a region of Finland. It's an autonomous administrative territorial entity, which is a subclass of the thing. Um, yeah, so this part, I guess, works, and the autonomous, I assume, doesn't make sense to add here. I think that would limit it too much. But let's see if we can find... Uh, a hundred results, I guess. Let's see if that works. Oh, um, yeah, and I need to remove this, of course. Uh, the bind, so we get all the results again. And... Let's see if this goes anywhere. Though... Uh, Tallinn has a bunch of country statements. Oh wait, is, is it spelled with one or two L's? Oh, with two. Is it one L in Germany or have I always misremembered it? No, it's two L's in German. Okay, then I just had the name of that town wrong in my head for all my life, sorry. Uh, country, yeah, Estonia, Soviet Union, Reichskommissariat, Ostland, Soviet Union, Estonia, Russian Republic, Russian Empire, and Sweden, I see. See, that is even a Swedish example, if you go back far enough in history, uh, for almost two centuries. Uh, yeah, we got 29 results. Okay, so that's actually all of them in just a hair over 60 seconds, so barely within the timeout. Um, and there's a lot of examples with the same. There's actually not a lot of examples overall. Um, let's just open all of them. And because it's not that many apparently. So that is Kosanin in Poland, the one we saw already. Helsinki, Turku, Finland, 
Olu, La Penanta, Orland Islands, the Fief of Vyborg, which apparently some Americans are call pronouncing Fife, uh, but I think it's Fief actually. <laughs> um, we have Toku and Pori province, so part of uh, this is part of that, I assume. We have Helsinki subregion, Orland Islands again, yeah, that's the same item. Pilkanma, Finland proper, I see. Um, is that the real name in English or did someone vandalize it? No, it's the real name, okay. Uh, Haliko and... Oh, this is part of... Oh, so it's a former municipality of Finland, it's still in Finland, but uh, even more formally it was part of Sweden, that just confused me. And then we have Kokiyoki. I'm seeing a slight pattern here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I assume that's not complete because that's just um, probably not every minor town or village is going to have all the country statements that in theory it could have. Um, but it works, I guess, if you get lucky with a timeout. So I will copy this and this is... Um, I've been disconnected in the pad. Reconnect. Um, there we go. Formerly Swedish administrative term. Uh, now belonging to another country. Actually, you know what I should do is add here that this is a best rank. So that's the best statement and not just any country statement because that's going to hopefully eliminate a lot of duplicate results. It might even speed it up because it has less statements to consider, I don't know. Um, so if you add this uh, type best rank then you get the exact statements that you would normally get with WDT which is just the truthy ones. So if you're using the full statement representation with the P you can still get the same behavior by adding this class, which is what we want in this case, I think. And we just have to hope that it still works within the timeout, or just over the timeout again, uh, 60 milliseconds, which I assume was network latency. Um, and until that query returns, I just have to talk something so you're not all bored, I guess. Uh, but it looks like it might be a timeout. I feel like a sports commentator. Is it a timeout? No, they take the lead! Uh, never mind. Yeah, timeout. Okay. Um, I could just try again. I could remove this filter, because we don't even need the new start time, actually. If we have this best rank here, so Sweden has an end time. I'm not sure if we even need this, but if something moved out of Sweden and then back into Sweden, I guess. We don't want to include that, so uh, keep that filter. Actually, you know what, no. Now I'm an idiot, because this whole thing is exactly equivalent to just WDT P17 new country. Um, if I'm not searching for a qualifier, I don't need to bother with the full statement form. Uh, so I am going to assume this still times out, but I'm going to optimize it. Um, like this, and then once this finishes, I can try running this version, which will hopefully uh, perform better, because it's not written so stupidly anymore by me, an idiot. Uh, why am I like this? The recording is going on YouTube. I saw a tweet earlier today that was like when you accidentally refer yourself as an, to yourself as an idiot in front of others and like what accidental? You don't do that all the time. Okay, now we have 24 results and they look and they're not completely distinct. So this thing apparently ceased to be part of Sweden at least twice. But anyways, let's just try the more efficient version. Uh, the fief of Viborg. It was part of the Swedish Empire then of Sweden. Also, was Sweden replaced by a Swedish Empire at the time? And then there's a Kalmar Union, and then there's... Wait, we have... So we have 
Back in the 13th and 14th century, we have Sweden. And then in the 16th century, we also have Sweden for a while. And then we also have the Swedish Empire. But modern day Sweden is again the same item as this one. That seems confusing. Um, and this one is still running. So this Swedish Empire. Years of 1611 to 1721 in the history of Sweden. And afterwards it went back to being a not empire of Sweden or what? I don't know Swedish history. Okay. It's a facet of Sweden. Okay. It doesn't have a replaces or replaced by. So I, so I can tell. Okay. And this Sweden item started in the 700s. Yeah, okay. Okay, apparently that's how Sweden's history was, or at least how it's modeled in Wikidata. Uh, this gave a timeout, that's inconvenient. Because I already closed the other tab with all the results. Um, so I will just have to try this one again. Uh, I can definitely add a distinct former territory and new country and not include the Sweden end time in there. Um, yeah, so that item, I'm still not sure. Um, so what was the first time it ended to be, it ceased to be part of Sweden? That was, um, so that was the Kalmar Union, I guess. And also there's just no statement for it being part of modern Sweden, because I guess it was, it ended in 1634 which is here and which is before the Swedish Empire ended, so it never went back into uh, the other Sweden state. This was the personal union of the three kingdoms of Denmark, Sweden and Norway, I see. Okay. And this is still running. Mm. I don't want to believe that the version with the full statement syntax is more efficient. That's absurd. Uh, but I guess I will try this once again and in a new tab also resurrect the other version, which looked like this. Uh, A wiki base best rank and run that at the same time. I'm not sure what order I had those two in last time, doesn't matter. Mm. Still running. Oh, there we go. 16 results in 53 seconds. Um, okay. So Q33 is, I assume, Finland. With a whole lot of results. And then we have Q36, which is, yeah, 33 is Finland. 36 is... Um, come on. What could be the other one? Norway? I didn't, don't remember any Norwegian results from earlier. And then we have a few others here. Oh yeah, there's the Kalma. Oh, 30, no, 36 is still loading. We have the Kalma Union, that's the that fief. We have the Swedish Empire, we have the Russian Empire, and we have two that are still loading for some reason. Let's try those again. Oh, we have Russia and Come on, what's Q36? Anyways, I think I can post that here. Um, I think... Oops, old version. More countries. Oh, 
my no, my computer didn't lock up, just the Etherpad. Um, okay, so that's in the Etherpad now. And that was Poland is Q36, indeed. Okay, so that's that one city we saw earlier. Okay, then that is that query, I guess. Um, and I guess if we wanted, we could exclude form a territory. What was that? Was that end time or was it dissolved? Um, to filter that out, this was end time. And we can also do both. End time dissolved. Mm, come on. This one. End. And see if that still works. But I guess that would just be um, 60 more seconds of waiting. Uh, what is this one? Okay, that's another version that didn't work out. Uh, does anyone have other ideas for queries? Um, because I think we've more or less explored this one. The worldwide version isn't going to work and this is, I guess, more or less the Swedish version. I guess if we want, we can search, we can do the same for, run the same query for other countries, at least for the ones where it doesn't time out and stumble across more history, um, which might be interesting. Eleven results, okay. Yeah, so now that Russian Empire thing is gone. So now we have only here, uh, that is Sweden, no, that is Finland. That was, uh, this is Poland, and this was, was that Russia? Yeah, that's Russia. Okay, so there we go. That is now the best version of the query, and we'll replace the previous version in the Etherpad. There we go, and if we want, we can uh, we can rename this to territory first of all because we're now filtering explicitly that it's not just a formal territory, and we can call this end time to make it independent of the end time and bind u34 as old country, and then use that variable here and here and search for other countries, for instance, um, a territory that would have belonged to, I don't know, France. Let's try that. And uh, that might be a timeout. That might just be a timeout, but we will see. Um, any other country where that would be interesting? If you tried with Ukraine, we might get Crimea. Uh, that would be interesting. I'm not actually sure how that's currently modeled. Um, write to the National Library to explain why they need to digitize the second edition of On the Musiki and or the first edition of On the Toenail Spielers. Could you show how often the editions are used in references? Sure. Um, so... How do I find those editions? Um, okay, it's two country statements. Uh, um, and this, oh, this actually finished. 25 French results. Let's quickly go through these and then we can continue with that. Um, Q31 was Belgium. Okay, so we have things belonging to Belgium now. We have things belonging to Q183, which is... Yeah, I should just add a label service here. It shouldn't make it much slower, I hope. We have things belonging to Q38, 55, 38, 55, oh, I have that twice, Italy, Netherlands, and that's mainly at 39. Okay, so without clicking on the individual items, that's not going to be as interesting, and I guess I don't want to spend the time on that right now. Um, I'll just close this. 
Let's go to the other one. Here is an example item of an addition we should look for. Um, I wonder if there's any way we can rec uh, find them. Uh, I guess not. We can also just use the uh, list that also works. So values would be uh, select stuff and we'll see what we select later. Values addition would be no. I pressed Control Shift W and closed the window, and you all saw my Twitter notifications. Uh, just a second. Let's configure the screen correctly again. This one. Transition. Leave studio mode again. There we go. Sorry for that. Uh, now I need to restore all the windows on the second screen so I can read what you all are writing. And of course, whatever I wrote here was lost. Where values addition restore this tab. We have this one. We have I'll just type in the number seven one five four five four five seven. Um. And we are looking for a statement that was derived from a reference. And the reference should have stated in this edition. And we are just interested in the count of all those statements. And that is 1,537 of them. Um, yeah. And if there are any more additions, um, we could look for those as well. Uh, I guess, okay, looking through your contributions is not going to help me because that's not just going to be the additions, but also a bunch of other stuff, I guess. Um, So if you have if there is any other items we can add them to the list otherwise that would be the query um statements referenced to already scanned editions of what was it called on the musiki and on the tone spelas and I'm probably pronouncing that terribly uh, on the Afgewardigten. Okay. Let's search for that. That's a series, that's an overview, overview. Where is the particular edition? Oh, that's a whole bunch of editions, it looks like. Oops. I somehow got into this weird mode again. There we go. So I guess this is the item for the series. Um, yeah, that's the same link you posted in the chat. And I guess we have several editions which link to them. So we would actually want something like um, these are the values, union, where the edition is an Edition of this item, and then the statement can be derived from any of those. And now we get 1537. Wasn't that the same number as earlier? Um, is that not an edition of statement? Oh, it's part of the series, I see. Oh yeah, because it's I guess it's actually different works. So part of the oops, I'm in override mode. We don't want that. Part of the series. There we go. Now we have two thousand eight hundred seventy-one. 
so we can replace that link in the etherpad with this one and update the name uh, or on the okay there we go uh, tangent up there. Special ontologies for historical cartography of Finland, Poland, Switzerland, and other specific places that had many boundary changes. Okay. Do we have those modeled in Wikidata as well at the moment? Uh, there's a reference here. Oops, that's a PDF and it's not opening in the browser for some reason, so... I see. Okay. Wow. Okay, yeah, I s clearly stumbled into an area with a lot of um, complexity and prior work as well. Um, not sure we can get into that at the moment. So I hope that number is useful. Almost 3,000 statements. Uh, we can also look for... Um, for how many distinct items that affected. So entity is linked with some p to the statement where some property has as wikibase claim that p. So the p is, uh, for instance, p p31 or something like that. Some predicate. And now we select as statements count of distinct entity as entities. Oops, there we go. And that is 537 different items have been referenced using, so presumably almost all of them people, and you can also check that. Um, op journal entity is a human and bind entity as human and count this thing human as humans okay yeah 535 of them are humans two are other things uh, probably the, the additions themselves I guess and having like their page number referenced. Yeah, so we can also say that 535 different people who were the subjects of those editions are now described better in Wikidata thanks to that. And if my copy paste would work, I could paste it in here. I think the focus was in the wrong window. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, any other questions? I feel like I can still go for a bit longer. It's been an hour and 20 minutes. I think the past streams were often two hours long. I think we can go at least one and a half hours if there's still enough stuff to do. And if enough people are still interested, I guess. Uh, Uh, there's nothing else in the pad. I am pasting the link in the etherpad, which is this one. Yeah. Uh. You could also... I think, no, I tried that last time or in one earlier stream looking through the popular items on the main page and it ended up just being not very great if I remember correctly. Um. Okay, yeah, the current highlights are also... Um, there's a pattern there. The 2020 Summer Olympics, I'm not sure why they're a highlight. I don't think they're getting a lot of edits at the moment. And then William Franklin and Bernadita Catala. I don't know who they are. An immuno immunologist? Immunologist? 
I don't know how you pronounce that. Oh, he died two, three days ago, and the Filipino ambassador. Oh, she also died three days ago. That's a shame. I guess that's why they're on the front page. Yeah. A short lesson on how to sum numbers stored as strings. Do you have an example for where numbers are stored as strings? Um, it's possible, but it would be good to have a real example. Um, there was also a question in the etherpad, but it was removed again. Put it back. We can go back to that as well. Um, I just saw the one with the number, some number stored as strings first. Uh, that would be, for instance, where do we some numbers? Do we have as strings. Um, page numbers are usually numbers for the data type of string because sometimes you have can have like ranges of them, but I'm not sure when you would sum them up. Um, or as a constructed example, I th guess it would be if you have something like select uh, uh, bind, I mean okay, number of tracks is that a string type property? number of platform tracks? no, number of platform faces number of parts of this work track number is that a thing? I guess that's number of parts of this work, but that's a quantity. So where would that be a string? Um, a general pattern would be if we have as str1, and we can copy that and say 4, 5, 6 as string 2. So this is how you don't do it, because then you get an error. And what you can do instead, number of parts of this work, but that's a number as far as I can tell. Um, but if you have it as a string for some reason, what you can do is cast it to a number with x is the integer of string 1 plus x is the integer of string 2 as good. And then we should have what five seven nine, yeah five seven nine. Or what you can also do is use natural instead of integer. I think. No, you can't. That's a uh, unsupported operation exception. Is it not called natural? Sparkle. No sparkle. I'm, I'm in the wrong browser profile where I don't have the good bookmark. This overview with the query language is the one I'm interested in. Um, integer. There is. Oh, and I should zoom in a whole lot here. Uh, decimal, double. Wasn't there also. Oh, okay. Then I'm not sure what it was. I think... I'm not sure what integer is. I'm pretty sure decimal is just a fixed point number. Yeah, so decimal is what you would write as 1, 2, 3, point, 4, 5, 6. Then you have a decimal number. Integer is an int, but I think it's limited to a 64-bit integer or something like that. Uh, no. Actually, it's infinite. Okay. And decimal has limits on how many digits are supported, or maybe supported, and then float and double are 32 and 64 with floating point numbers, I think, and decimal is the higher precision one version of float and double, but I guess I completely misremembered integer, and integer is actually the infinitely large one. So x is the integer is the one you want, and you can use decimal as well. If you want to sum decimal numbers, then you get still this, or it could be float. 
And as long as you're summing up integer numbers, that still works for you. But with load and w, you might run into precision issues. Um, integer is probably the best choice and also the easiest to remember. Um, so if you have your numbers as strings for some reason and need to do math with them, you can cast them back to numbers like this. And you can also extract that into a variable int1 um, with something like bind that as int1 and that as int2 yeah there we go I'll just copy this and paste it into the pad as well casting strings to numbers other types all types are decimal double and then there was another question in the pad which is the longest ruler of any country who ruled a country for the longest consecutive time and so that would be um, probably is Queen Elizabeth the second now the one who holds the title or is there still some king who outranks her I don't remember uh, anyways we can start with her to keep it simple Elizabeth the second come on there she is as item and later we'll remove the bind the item should have um, position held where um, a statement where the no um, value is some position which is um, a subclass of head of state and the statement must have a qualifier start time and it must may also have a qualifier end time but if it doesn't, then we want to pretend the current day is the end time. Uh, coalesce of end time and now as end time without underscore. So this function, which I'm not sure how to pronounce, coalesce, I guess, uh, gives you the first of this comma separated list of expressions, which doesn't result in error. So if end time is not bound because this optional block didn't match, so if we don't have an end time, then it falls back to the current time. And that's our end time. And then we can bind the end time minus the start time divided by the average length of the Gregorian year as years. And select the item, the position, the start time and the end time underscore because if it doesn't have an end, I would like to see that here. And the years, and we order by desk of years, limit uh, 10. And for Queen Elizabeth, that works. And we even have a whole lot of... Oh, right, because she's head of state of a whole bunch of states, I guess, right? Um, right, so this is going to be the Queen of the United Kingdom, and then the Queen of Canada, and then the Queen of Australia. No, she's the Lord of Man. That's very amusing in the way it's phrased, but I guess it's true. She's the monarch of Canada, of the United Kingdom, of Australia, and here it's spelled capitalized for some reason. And the Duke of Lancaster. I hope that's how it's pronounced. Um, and the monarch of New Zealand. And then a few that ended earlier. No, no, that started later. I guess this is, this might be India. Uh, states where it, that came into existence later, I guess. Monarch of Barbados, the Bahamas, Grenada, and Jamaica. Okay, no, not India. No, sh she's not the head of state of India anymore. Christ, I'm an idiot. Um, anyways, let's remove the bind and see if this works at all. It does. Um, well, well, um, we have Hammurabi the first, 
a politician, apparently, um, who was king, just king, about the upper uppercase K for some reason, um, since 1765 BCE and never stopped being king, according to this label, uh, this statement. And then we have an Assyrian king, Assyrian king, and this one doesn't even have a description, but that's also um, Achaemenid dynasty. Oh, that was a great king. Is that also is that an Egypt thing as well? No, the Achaemenid emp Empire. What was that? Something. I don't care. Um, so clearly we will want to exclude items with a date of death. Date of death. And I think that's P570. It is. Yes. Lancaster. Damn it. Um, yeah. So let's exclude date of death. And then we have more people, except we don't know they died. Great. Um, such as... Gosha de Magadha, a Sunga emperor, whatever that is, who just has no date of birth or date of death. So I guess we also want um, minus the statement has replaced by, replaced by. We also don't want that. Um, the stress is on the first syllable. Okay, so Lancaster. Um, Come on. Anuruda, king of Bagada. Okay, they also shouldn't have a manner of death or a killed by, I guess. Um, item manner of death. Item killed by. Killed by. What else do we have? Here we have absolutely nothing. Okay, so here the only thing we have is presumably that the king of Nabatea, whatever that is, belongs to a country that no longer exists. Yeah, okay. So minus the position has a country and the country dissolved. We don't want that either. And then we have here Sunga Emperor, and this position belongs. It's does, it's not country. It's part of or applies to jurisdiction. So part of applies to jurisdiction. Uh, that should filter out this one. And then we have Radimitra. Um, Position held monarch. Oh, that's even worse because this position is not associated with any country, so I'm not sure how we can uh, filter that out unless we also exclude the off. So we also want minus the statement PQ off. Uh, something that was dissolved. And hopefully Kozambi is at least... Uh, no, that's just a human settlement, which probably still exists. <sighs> okay, so I still don't know how to filter out that one. Ooh, tricky. Okay. So this is all Queen Elizabeth, I assume. And here's one who was apparently head of state for a hundred years. No! <laughs> no! No, those are not dates in the Gregorian calendar. That's second age, isn't it? No, wait. No, reunited kingdom. That's... Is that another Eldarion? Yeah, okay, that's fourth age. No, 
The fourth age is not our time. Tolkien said there's at least one or two more between those. <sighs> Who added this? Uh, no, I'm not going through this now. And there's Elizabeth II. So there's a bunch of results here. I mean, I can also just say filter the start time must be greater than or equal to, let's say, 1900. XSD date time. And that should also filter out all of those other things. And we can even declare this thing as hint range safe, so that this filter is slightly more efficient. Um, yeah, so now we have someone who supposedly rules since 1914, which I don't think is true. Um, a president of something, a Paul, Paul Gervais de Rouville, not sure. Uh, who was president of whatever this is, some society, presumably. Except, no wait, this is the wrong president item in that case. So this is... Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But anyways, that is... I'm pretty sure that is the wrong president and should be... If anything, that should be... Okay, there's no other... No, non-political leader. That's exactly the right item, I think. And if anyone disagrees, go through my contribution and find this item and correct it yourself. Uh, I could also see what it was called, chairperson or something. Um, but definitely not the political president, so that should kick this person out. And then we have Queen Elizabeth, and we have someone from... Um, 12,006 to 12,071, which seems unlikely, but I think, yeah, I did forget to include instance of human here, so that's completely my fault, and if this person actually ruled the galactic empire in the 121st century, then sure, my fault for forgetting item instance of human, which you want to include for exactly that reason. Uh, yeah, okay, now with this filter now I am going to miss... Okay, so I guess what I want is filter years less than or equals to, let's be generous and say 150. And then we kick out all the ones where you just don't have an end time, but we still get whoever just ruled for very long in the past, I think. Um, now we have, for instance, someone for 130 years. Pretty sure that's also the wrong president item. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to fix that. Um, yeah, tr could be a rector, speaker, but I think president, non-political leader of an organization sounds great. I'm going to use that item. And whatever the current query service lag is, eventually you'll see that. That's the one I already fixed, I'm pretty sure. The poll something. Yeah, that's the one. And then we have Elizabeth a whole bunch of times. We have someone from the... Um, 1600s, and we have another one. That's also a wrong president. No, it's not. Ah, this president and chief executive officer is a subclass of the wrong president. I guess. No. No, this is a non-political leader president. So why was this Included. Oh, don't tell me the non-political leader is a subclass of the head of state president. That would be terrible. It is. No. Okay. So it's the the all the edits I just did are not actually fixing anything. Uh, and then we have this grandmother of someone who was the queen from for 65 years and that is 65 years here yeah uh, with um, rounding error um, I think I'll just throw a floor in here 
Um, just for display. So this is completely correct, I think. She was queen for 65 years, that's great. Um, this thing with the two president items is very annoying because I don't think it makes sense that an item that's described as non-political leader of an organization is a subclass of the leader of a country or part of a country. That doesn't make sense. Because surely that is not a subclass of a head of state. Um, so what do we do instead? Do we flip it around? Do we say that the this president is a subclass of the president that's explicitly described as non-political? No, hardly. Um, are there any other president items? There's president corporate title. This has the Ian Wiki site link of president government title. So, what is just president about? Education government title. Okay, doesn't have anything else. Um, in that case, I am tempted to completely remove this subclass of statement. We already have leader of organization. Mm. We could create a president item or presiding officer or something, which both of these are subclass of. But I feel like at least if that's also called president, then people will use it incorrectly. Um, so I'm not really sure I want to do that. I think I'm for now going to um, remove that and maybe leave a note on the talk page. Subclass of. Uh, I just removed a statement that this item is 275 um, because the latter item is only for the political office and this P275 statement impl implied that every corporate was it corporate what was the label they used here? Corporate title. President is also a head. I can use an item for that. Head of state, which is this item ID. Um, we could also have a third president item, which both that's this one and political are a subclass of, but that seems risky for me. It would likely get used incorrectly, just like this. Uh, the, no, the political. political one is already some. Okay. Used for corporate office holders. Uh, yeah. Subclass of new section, and I should first actually remove the statement before I post the message that says I have removed the statement. Remove and save. There we go. And now um, this thing. And we can we can actually check how many other people from the uh, Tolkien Tolkien's Legendarium have qualifiers, for example, with a date time, uh, because I'm pretty sure that's always correct, uh, incorrect. Elect um, item from fictional universe. Tolkien's Legendarium, and so on, has an alias, nice. Um, and the item has, let's start with uh, date of 
Oh, that's P569, isn't it? Date of birth. Because none of them should have one. And there's, oh, there's one with an unknown value. Okay. That is actually fine. I have no problem with date of birth unknown value. I'm curious which one it is. Ah. I guess. I don't think his date of birth is particularly less known than that of a whole bunch of other characters, but okay. Um, so none of them have the date of birth. An incorrect one. Do any have a date of death? And um, is blank date of death should not be unknown value. Nope, nothing. Okay. Then we can search for item position held uh, start time or for position held for a certain time. And then we have that's Eldarion, I guess. Yep. And then we have that must be yeah, that must be Aragorn. That is uh, 3019 third age until 120. 24th age, and that is complete bunk. That is not how dates work. And for one, it implies that he was king of the reunited kingdom for some negative 2,800 and something years, which is clearly not the case. Um, yeah. So, we have start period and end period. Third age and fourth age. I still disagree with this. I think I. I'm going to look through the history. If this was added by Harmonia, I'm not going to remove it. If it was almost anyone else, I think I will, uh, because I don't think this makes sense as a data model. Maybe we will eventually support that calendar properly, and I think I actually filed the fabricator task for that ages ago. Um, but apart from that. That is not the right thing to do right now. Uh, position held, changed claim. Is that the one? Discos to. No, they added start period and end period, which is actually a good edit. Um, is this the one? No, that is a serious ordinal. That is also fine. Is this the one? Yes, that's the one that added the end time and the previous edit. Edit the start time, I assume. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to do that off stream, but I think I will remove this because I don't think that's a good way to model it. Um, I mean, I guess we can also search for any statement with start or end time. It doesn't have to be position held. Oh, now we have a few more. Um, it looks like it's. Uh, that is, I think, Aragorn. Yeah, that's Aragorn. We have Gondor, which... <sighs> oh! The capital was Osgiliath, and then it was Minas Tirith. <sighs> no. No. No to all of that. An area of two million square kilometers. I'm skeptical about that as well. I'm not sure if we have conversions from... I think Tolkien used miles, right? Not sure if those are supposed to be metric miles or uh, British imperial miles or whatever other miles exist. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of dates here. A whole lot of them ending or starting in 120 and 3019 because those were... Um, Uh, significant years. Yeah, there's those two again, head of government and head of state. Uh, yeah, no. Okay, but that's um, very off topic by now. So I will. Um, I'll try to generalize this even further. Let's try that. A statement, and the statement can have. Statement, a uh, predicate, um, time, and is blank the 
time is not unknown and the predicate it comes from some property which has the property type time and it is um, claim then it's the PS or it's qualifier then it's the PQ I think or it's the or if, no, it's a, if it's in the reference, then it's uh, all out. Uh, then it's more complicated, so we're just going to skip that. So that should now also work. Um, it would probably be more efficient if I rearrange it a little bit. But I hope that this can still complete within the timeout. We will see. Maybe not. No, looks like it doesn't. Um, oh yeah, this thing should be... Uh, So right now this probably looks for also the things where a statement is something completely unrelated and in, it's not at all a statement. So to optimize that I can say the statement must have a rank. I don't care what the rank is but this is kind of duck typing. If it has a rank it's a statement. And let's order this up here. So it goes before the filter in not is blank and then maybe it's more efficient. And now with this Wikibase rank here, it should not try to search for these um, triples on like uh, site links and stuff. Mm. Let's see if that works. And if it doesn't, I can just go back to the other version. Do I still have that here? No, that's something completely different. Oh, I guess I should um, post this query somewhere. Even if it's if no it right I was waiting for updates to go through with the um, president subclass thing so let's try this again and see if it works better now um, yeah now we have Queen Elizabeth the second then this queen from the 17th century we have someone from the 9th century a king of Nicor. Um, who replaced and was replaced by, no, different people, different words at the end, sorry. And then we have Jean Roche, that's another wrong president, I assume, was president of that historical society of archaeology of Beaucaire for, uh, since 1960, apparently. And, oh, that's Queen Elizabeth II again. Okay, and this is a timeout, damn it. Mm. I mean, what I can also do is, instead of filtering by the property, filter that uh, data type of time is date time, and then I don't even need to filter for is blank, because blank values aren't daytimes. Oh! Oh, that is very fast. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, but if I remove this, then it gets a lot slower. Okay, so this was a good idea, and then together with this, it seems to work pretty well. So let's add this back, and then... Oh, we also had way more results. Oh, yes, I would have included things where this is truthy and this is truthy, I guess. Yeah, so anyway, we have 23 results, and I'm selecting way too much stuff. We want the item, and just that, I think. Just the items. There we go. Eight of them. Um, this, um, yeah, I mean, I can try... Uh, Try to filter out results where the end time is missing, but must definitely exist. Mm. 
Well, actually, I think I guess I can remove all of these filters now that I have. Oh no. Um, all depends. Uh, yeah, I am filtering all the dead people right now, which maybe we don't want. Actually, it's just that a years less than 150 should all actually work for many of these. So let's just try that and keep the label service out for now because that generally makes queries slower and so it's the last thing I want to add. Okay, so this works and now we get um, this person who was a dealer. Is that the drug kind or the casino kind? That's a shopkeeper. Negociant. I see. Okay. And, and we just have a whole lot of presidents uh, where the wrong item is used. Uh, so, so this doubles as a query to find all of those, uh, although I guess if you wanted to do that you could find them much easier and use a heuristic like if they have less if they have two or less site links, then they're almost certainly not the right president, and you want to, uh, you may want to fix that or something. So I'm going to put all those back in, and yes, it filters dead people, but um, that's just the way it is. That's the best we can get for now, I think. And now let's try adding the label service, and what we want is the item label and the position label. Uh, run it again because I added the comment. Yeah, and now we have Elizabeth II who has been various offices since 6 February 1952. We have this queen here, and we have this king here, and then Elizabeth again. And I think that's the version I'm going to put in the pad. Uh, longest, la, I have been disconnected. Thank you. Reconnect. Uh, longest lasting heads of state uh, with caveats e g in excludes dead people. And then we have here the um, items from Tolkien's Legendarium with real world calendar data, which I will probably want to clean up later. Um, and there's eight of those, so we, we can add the table service there. And doing that before the distinct is a bit slow, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, mm. it's actually pretty slow. Come on. There we go. Seven seconds, okay. We have the Reunited Kingdom, Aragorn, Eldarion, Mordor, Arnor, Gondor, Rohan, and the king of the Reunited Kingdom is, I guess, a position that has the inception of 3019 Third Age. No, it has office holders. That's where the dates come from. Okay. Um, fine. Add that to the pad as well. Oh no, that, it was already in the pad. I just need to update the URL because I updated it. There we go. And now it is exactly two hours since I started the stream. And I guess I am going to call it a night now. Thank you very much for listening and hanging out and suggesting all of these queries and uh, see you all at some point again. I don't know when. Um, I don't really want to do these uh, weekly. Uh, they tend to go on for longer in the music streams. But yeah, we'll see you again eventually. And have a nice rest of the evening or go to bed already, I guess. Uh, make it through this remaining... I, I don't know how to say that. No, never mind. Uh, have a good time and 
see you next time and farewell. Bye!